guys, it's Half I am back again, and this is going to be an update of my first update for my Project Polish Mini Edition. So I started out with 17 nail polishes. I have not finished anything yet, but I have made progress on almost all of the ones that are actually in the project. One thing I will say, which I probably didn't make clear um, in my first video, is that generally speaking I paint my nails a lot however I usually only paint four fingers at a time my thumbs actually have gel polish on them and because I don't usually show them in photographs I don't bother doing nail art on them very often um, so I paint each hand differently and I only paint four nails so um, I probably go through nail polish differently to other people um, I also don't paint my toenails very often, um, prefer to paint my nails, my, my fingernails rather than my toenails. That said, I have made progress, so that's all good. So we will start with the first one, which is uh, from mm, yeah, Nail Lacquer, this one is Wild Lavender. Now the marks rubbed off a lot of these bottles because of the way that I shake my bottles because I don't shake my bottles, I roll my bottles. I believe this was up around about here. There's a little bit of a, a mark on the edge of the plastic there. Um, with that little black mark. So what I've done this time is I've put clear nail polish over the top of the line and hopefully that will encourage it to stay um, and that one is this one here on the swatch wheel just uh, focus camera just so you can see what it looks like is that one there the next one is also from Mia Nail Lacquer and the line on this one again the original line rubbed off um, you can sort of see the edge of the black bit there that's where we are now this one is When Clouds Dream, which looks like that there on the swatch wheel. You can see it's got a kind of matte, satin matte type finish. The next one is from Nails Inc. This is South Bank. I believe this was basically full. I don't think I put a mark on it when we started so that's where I am now and that is this one here it's the nice simple light grey then we have from Max Factor we have Cactus Green which, um, I think this was basically for when I started but that's about where I am now is the green one there, which is lovely and shiny. It's just not the best formula. Um, next one's also from Max Factor. This is Fantasy Fire, which looks way better in the bottle than it does on the nail. Um, it's really hard to see the lines. There's actually two lines there, um, but sort of where about there made a tiny little bit of progress on that one that there is a fantasy fire over black it just ends up looking like red which is a bit disappointing then we have w7 it's pink which freaks my camera out every time i put it near a camera um i'm not exactly sure where my original line was um, I think it was closer to the rim thing there. That's where we are now. And that there is its pink. As I said, it freaks my camera out. It doesn't like it very much. <laughs> Next we have the L'Oreal LA Collection Crystal in 203. So the big thick black line was where we were last time and the little tiny bluish line underneath is where we are now. So a little tiny bit of progress on that one. And that there is the L'Oreal. 
It's a really nice soft peachy pink. And we have Teal Unreal from Borley. If it would focus. The top darker bit is last time. This is what we have now. Just a little bit of movement on that one. But progress is progress. So that's that one there. If it would focus. There you go. That one there. Then we have Lemonade, which I think was basically full when we started. This actually comes off a lot brighter, like it dries a lot brighter on the nail than it looks in the bottle, like it looks super pale in the bottle, but it actually dries quite bright. Looks a lot more yellow yellow when it's on the nail. But again, we made a bit of progress on that one. I know, because I wore it. Um, <laughs> the next one is Pink Waterfall, also by Orly. It's one of my favourite pinks of all time. And you can see the two different lines. A little bit of progress on that one. And that one there is Pink Waterfall. The last one from Orly is VIP, which I have not worn. That is the only polish that I have not worn this month. So that's that one there. Other than the first manicure I did of the month. Which was before I filmed the video. <laughs> then we have the Maybelline Mili Mini, Mini Colorama polishes. This one is Icing Sugar. You can see there has been a pretty big jump on that one. I've used this quite a bit as a base for nail art and stuff. Um, I will be posting a video soon that shows all the manicures that I did in January and that is Icing Sugar. Then we have Electric Blue. Uh, electric Blue, you see that little bit of black there, that's where it was when we started like sort of up towards the top so that's where we are now. I love this blue. It's gorgeous. And that is electric blue right there. Next to it we have dark chocolate which comes off as a black even though it is actually brown. Um, so the original line was up just at the top of the plastic there and that's where we are now bit of progress on that one and that is that one there as I said it looks like it is um, a black but it's not um, next one is Wonder Violet my line last time was so thick that you can't actually see the progress that I've actually made it just looks like it's in the same spot I have used it but I think only once, so. And once with only four fingers, if, if I used it on all four fingers, it's not actually very much. So that is that one there. It's one of my favorite purples. Next to that is the nail polish that I have fallen in love with this month. I have used it heaps. Not that it probably looks like it, but this is fruit juice. It looks very jelly in the bottle, but it actually covers remarkably well. So that's where we are now, and we're up there. It's actually what I'm wearing on this hand. It's also what that colour is there. It is, oh, this is just so gorgeous. That's it on the nail wheel, right there. And the last one is Tarte. And Tarte was up here, and now it's down there. So, um, and that right there is Tarte on the nail wheel. So, I feel like I've made pretty good progress. It's like all the bottles except for one, basically, I can see that I've made a little bit of progress, and considering that. Um, in my 100 Colourful Entries project, 
uh, at Empties project, I have actually put in a whole lot of nail polish as well, so I've been using those ones in conjunction with these ones. So I think to have made progress on any of them is actually quite a good thing. But I'm really enjoying it and sort of having a slightly more limited collection to choose from when doing nail art tends to make me think outside the box a little bit more. Um, even though I've been doing like really quite simple um, nail arts over the last month, um, yeah, it's been it's been fun. I'm enjoying it so far. So that is my update for my project polish, uh, the first update, January update. Um, yeah, so if you want to see more of my stuff, then click the subscribe button down there and click the little bell so that you get notified of when I upload. Leave me a thumbs up if you like project type videos and polish type videos and leave me a comment down below. I try to respond to all comments and I'll see you in my next video. See ya!